Okay, I just wanted to address some of the stuff you were talking about uh, before I head off to watch the Super Bowl. Um, okay, I, I took out the wall here. I assume you still wanted the layout, but I'm not sure. Uh, toilet here, tub, shower. Um, I didn't quite understand which closet you wanted normal size. Did you want that gone? This one is normal size. Are you saying you just want this to be like a two feet across here, which would add a whole lot uh, to your laundry room if we just went normal size and made this, you know, just a regular closet door. And I think that is a, a real good idea. Um, as far as the window in the living room, I is this what you mean? I, I just made that eight foot by four foot. Um, that's a big window to me. I had a six foot and a six foot by four. Um, what that does for us if we did that uh, is you could then come out for your swing. You could just bring this out further. And uh, I, I assume that's where you'd want your, sw your swing right there. Or, you know... Yeah, I, the configuration on this I'm not sure how you want it uh, I mean we could just come straight out here and then you got plenty of room for a swing I just kind of made a walkway and then a, a big area but I can see where we could uh, just bring this section on now further uh, the, the one major thing that you brought up is detaching this and making a breezeway that's going to add a I think what, instead of drawing two different plans and having everybody bid it out each way, you just need to decide whether or not you want to spend the money. Um, and because it's gonna, what you, the, the cost involved is what you have now is a, uh, a common wall here that that does not require siding at all on that wall. As soon as you move this down for, I would assume, about six to eight feet, now that wall has to be sided and this wall has to be sided. Uh, plus you have a lot of uh, things like fascia and, and soffit and gutters and uh, different things like that. Um, I, would, I would say it, it, it would add approximately, I wouldn't be surprised if it would add somewhere between uh, six and eight thousand dollars. So you have to think about uh, one is if that price doesn't scare you at all, then that's uh, what I would. Th the, it, if you're, do you think you're going to use that backyard? Uh, you think being on a hill, being out, you know, like you are, are you sure that out in front of the house won't be what is the traditional uh, you'll be using as your traditional backyard? Um, you don't necessarily have to have a back door, uh, but you know y it might be very important to you if it is. Then yeah, we got to move it over. But there's no sense in drawing two different plans when it's going to cost you. You know, if you want it separate, it's going to cost you. Like I said, and so you just need to decide beforehand instead of having everybody bid it both ways. Um, y I think you just needed to really think long and hard about how that house is going to sit and whether or not that backyard is going to be where if you're going to spend a bunch of time back there and that's where your activity is going to be you're going to put a pool back there or whatever you're going to do back there then i say yeah you need to do it if if that's not going to be a traditional backyard then i wouldn't do it and then uh downstairs you're about going to have to have some little deal like this because of the hill. Um, I'm just, you know, right now it's hard to guess. You can, once this foundation is dug, you can, if you can, move it down here. That's, you know, that's not a big deal just to change it on the fly. Um, and you could put it wherever you want if you put a retaining wall, you know, to block off the dirt. But I kind of got a feeling, see, the way I've got it, that's just what I drew, uh, so I, I don't know that that's exactly how it's going to go. But if you did did it like this, you could just put a retaining wall there, and uh, this door would work. Um, but 
you're probably going to need something like that uh, to get in there. So anyway, take a look at this. Give me your thoughts. And Oh, as far as the, the cost goes, you know, it's run as high as $1,600 on a set of, it kind of depends on how much uh, we have to do to figure out exactly what you want. Um, and it could be as low as uh, 1200 Um but I think it's going to be right, right around twelve hundred. I, I try to make forty-five dollars uh, an hour at this, and um, this is we're we're having to figure a lot of stuff out to, to tweak it like we want every time we we talk and uh, stuff. It just adds to the to the time involved, which but we need to get it right. I mean, I'm not saying any, like let's not be talking, and but I, that's my feel. It is twelve hundred dollars is is what it's going to come at in at. So...